Hello again. Hello again. We're back. <laughs> Um, um, one other thing, just sorry. briefly, that I wanted to mention, um, yeah. that I I like the Novas a lot, or it was I find them easier to work in than the 3007s, is when the cut mm -hmm. is so dramatic, it's harder, I found it harder to do hops on point. Also, so the Novas, I, the, like, gradual arch, I find easier, and also um, the, the shape of the platform, I think, is part of also what makes, what, um, yeah, what makes it easier. So just like when it like sort of more gradual, it makes it easier to make that shape. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah. For some reason and like because of the smaller platform, also it will it's just like harder to balance and it's easier for it to come off this way. Yeah, like, no, right I know I know what you mean. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah I totally get it. It's really interesting because um yeah, the shank, so just to refresh these guys watching, the shank in 3007 to 2007 is um different construction. So like Rachel was mentioning, um, in the, let me grab a 3007, that would help. In a 3007, because the shank construction is more pliable with um, a much easier roll through, the shank tends to um, break lower down um let me just show you for example so this is a fresh out the bag medium but you can see it's already a lot more bendy which is fantastic for dancers with um weaker ankles or um not not much flexibility in their ankles but for right. dancers that have um a lot of range they will find it a little bit trickier because it's not going to feel as stable and secure as the way that the shank for example in the nova breaks higher up and is thicker mm -hmm. here um so even in a harder version of 3007, it's still going to break the, the, the way that this one breaks lower down. Um, right. So I, it's good for the viewers to know about this because, um, you know, if you are a 2007 wearer and you have a very defined arch and quite a lot of flexibility, stick with it. Or, or, you know, try our Dreampoint 2007 pre-arched, also known as Allure, Try Nova, or any of the other models built in 2007. Mm -hmm. Apart from Miracle, because that's quite different. But um, generally speaking, obviously, give it a go and see how it feels. But what I'm personally finding is that if someone has a very flexible foot, is quite strong, they're going to find the Shanking 3007 very different. And it's mm -hmm. probably not going to be to their kind of needs and re requirements, in my opinion. Um, but what I have loved about 3007 is, of course, for dancers like me that don't have a lot of ankle flexibility, that it gets me over because what I used to find in classic 2007, also in Nova, regardless of shank strength, I'd be pulled back. Um, even mm -hmm. in the custom with a shorter vamp and everything else. So, you know, 3007 is, is a great invention. It has its place, but I would say act with caution if you are flexible or have high arches or, or a very defined um, rotation. Because if you're that mm -hmm. type of dancer that has a foot like Rachel's, for example, it is going to feel very different and not what you're used to, but also it's not, it's not going to break down the way you're used to a shoe breaking down. That's what I'm trying to get across. Right. <laughs> right. And I, I mean, I have, I've been wearing the 3007s also. So definitely like they're, they're still great shoes. I just sure. meant interesting to know. Sure. A little different, isn't it? Cause also it's yeah. really interesting, um, you know, in different, as, as you know, when different moves in ballet feel different in different shanks. They feel different in different shapes of shoes. Um, yeah. And, you know, even with platform, I find platform super interesting personally because um, I wear a pair of custom 3007s, but also custom Maya ones. Um, mm -hmm. And I still find, you know, they've both got quite a good platform and I get the platform made wider by 20%. But I still, you know, if, if I was to be blindfolded and choose between the two, I would probably mm -hmm. always go for the Maya one because I'm so used to it. And... Right. It's just become my shoe. And this is another thing to the dancers watching, or maybe you're not on point yet and you're going on point. It takes time to find the shoe. Um, but also, it's very important to go for a fit in frequently because when you're young, um, especially if you're still growing, a lot can change in a short amount of time, um, especially with technique as well. And with different things, you'll be learning on point and different roles you're dancing. Um, also, when you're an adult, it's also interesting because... Um, Although 
you know, our bones are set. We're not still growing and there's not much kind of change in our ankle flexibility and stuff like that. But we can, you know, get stronger. And also, um, as adults, we feel things differently on point to what, say, a 12-year-old would feel. Um, right. There's so much that goes into fitting, you guys. And it's it really is an art form. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It has been amazing just to see all the like little tweaks that you can get done to point shoes and what a difference it makes. Right. It's just mad. But don't yeah. you just love, um, oh, oh, another thing that I really enjoy about um, British Girl Nicolai point shoes that I, I never had in um, other brands is I really like how flat the outer sole is. So, you know, like yes. when you're standing, it doesn't feel rickety and you don't have to shave yeah. it down. <laughs> Doing a Daggio in the center makes a, it makes a big difference if the <laughs> shank is like really thick or if it's thin Definitely. absolutely totally agree with that by the way has anyone got any questions for rachel you can pop them in the comment box and i'll get um you know the comments passed over uh, it's so exciting to know that your fittings you'll be able to start doing fittings in in person soon also i know i can't wait honestly it's going to make such a difference because i have like yeah. such a waiting list um right for anyone curious about what I do, um, I'm a Grishko Nikolai Master Fitter, and I travel all over the UK and worldwide now. Um, and I should be coming back to America at some stage very soon, and I will hopefully be doing a little tour around retailers and studios. Um, so that'll be an opportunity for you guys to get fitted by me in person. Um, I will be starting to try and travel Europe as well going to work on that because I'm I'm really I just want to get to as many places as I can because not only do I want to fit far and wide but I also want to educate retailers a bit more about the brand and um, the differences between the models because it is very overwhelming because we have so much so much selection it is absolutely mind-blowing yeah. um and at home I have a fitting room it's small but it, it does the job and I have a lot of shoes like I, my house is overrun by shoes right <laughs> and you can come to my fitting room seven days a week I work right up to late evenings but it's obviously you have to book in advance so just drop me an email or an Instagram message or something like that and we can arrange something when it gets back yeah. to school season I do warn you it gets insane um I am literally right. all over the place so right. um, I travel to studios directly and do things there. Generally speaking, I'd spend an hour, sometimes longer. If you're tricky, I never rush you. I always, um, you know, will take my quality time with everybody. I'm not the type of fitter who does an in and out job. That's just not my style. I am very particular. Um, so always expect attention to detail with me because I certainly <laughs> give attention to detail, that's for sure. <laughs> I feel like professional dancers um, spend so much of their time thinking about their point shoes and like just trying to figure out whether it's like choosing the shoe for the show or thinking about if you're trying to switch between brands um, or like whether you have enough shoes, preparing <laughs> your shoes. There's just like so much. Point shoes are such a huge part of yes. our lives. So. Yes, they're your tools of your trade at the end of the day. But yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm, oh, this is a good question, actually. So, with your fellow dancers in your company, imagine like you're all sitting around prepping your shoes or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Do you notice that by wearing Grishko Nikolai point shoes, that literally you're just getting your shoes, putting them on, doing a little bit of breaking in, but nothing bonkers, and you're like good to go. And then there's other dancers that are shaving their sole, cutting their shanks, banging them on the floor. <laughs> yeah. No, it's actually, it's actually a really good point. Um, there, yeah, I don't, I don't really have to do, sometimes I do like a little, um, a little bend. Um, but apart from just sewing them, I can just put them on and, and start dancing, which is really nice. Um, so it's, it's, it is there. I had a couple of pairs of shoes at one point where I had to, like when I was just trying out different shoes where I had to do a lot of work to them. Um, and it's amazing even just cause sewing shoes in general takes time. So then to have to do a bunch of other like preparation <laughs> thing which ends up taking up so much time. So I'm so grateful that yeah, a lot of dancers do have to do a lot of preparation and I oh don't gosh. feel like I do. I just sew them and put them on. Exactly. <laughs> so it's great. And you know, like what I find, I love social media. It's amazing, but it does bother me a little bit because oh, there's videos, you know, on the internet of professionals preparing their shoes, doing all this crazy stuff. And dancers who aren't professionals think that they've now got to do that to their shoes to make them work. And then right. I also get, you know, sometimes I even get parents of dancers that are like, 
oh, well, we saw her favorite dancer and she does this to her shoes and she said right. she does it because of this and her foot actually looks quite similar. So um, we tried to do that and I'm, I'm like, hold up, right. hold up. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I think it's tricky because as a professional, like you're in your point shoes for so for so long every day and, and you need them to work with you in a specific way. So obviously professionals are finding their own yes, um, exactly. tricks of the trade, but it's, it's very, I mean, I, I definitely never did anything to my shoes when I, I mean, I still don't do anything to them, but I definitely never did anything to them when I was in school. And I think it probably oh. can be tricky just because it does, especially if it, it seems like um, it's possible to find a shoe that will work with you and you won't have to do anything, any of the extra stuff. Um, so sometimes it seems like it's worth it to find that shoe. Yeah, and it's like, also to um, the younger dancers watching, when you go for a thing, be sure to communicate. And if you are feeling that something isn't right to you, speak up. I know it can be a bit nerve wracking sometimes if you're going somewhere you've not been fitted before, or maybe you're, you know, I mean, you're the type of person who's quite shy. I was like that once, believe it or not. <laughs> I used to be very quiet and I never used to speak up about right. anything and it would take a lot for me to complain about if something I was feeling. So, you know, communication really is key with point shoes because the fitter can see what's going on from the outside, but we can't right. always know for sure what you are feeling on the inside of the shoe. So you've really right. got to work together to work out the problems and solutions, but also, you know, Sometimes I also feel some fitters just throw people in something because it's all they have at the time rather than say, I'll order that in for you or I'll customize that for you. If, yeah. you know, for example, you guys, if you um, have any Grishko Nikolai pointers that you want to try and your retailer doesn't have them, you can ask them to get them and they can get them very quick. We are, you know, for example, usually a week to get something that's in stock. If it's something out of stock, it will take just up to 14 days. So it really is a, f a fast turnaround now compared to what you guys had yeah. in the US before. Um, yeah, it was, I got my shoes, the shoes that you, um, that when we had our virtual fitting and then you ordered them for me, I got them way quicker than I have ever gotten shoes before. Wow. Um, that's yeah, so it's amazing. Yeah. That is so awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm so I'm so pleased that these overs are looking a lot better. We're we're on a really good track yeah. with them now. I feel. Um, yeah. But what we'll do is when they're starting to get to the end of their life, um, we'll do another mm -hmm. um, virtual fitting, and we can Great. see what other tweaks we can make because you know yeah. it is a work in progress. We're we're getting there every mm -hmm. bit of the way. We're making um, yeah. perfections along the way and also of course when yeah. you're properly dancing and you're we'll figure out what roles you're doing and how it's going to affect the yeah. shoe then we can start yeah. thinking about what pair will have for what role and how it's going to affect you you know and what things we need to tweak about the shoe to suit that role um right. that's also very interesting too um i'm just gonna yeah. get these stats up again i'm just trying to remember what else i did with your shoes get my notes up so for those of you just tuning in, um, I did save part one and I will be uploading it later on. So don't worry if you missed out. Um, Rachel is uh, Nikolai um, Grishko, uh, brand ambassador with us. And she um, has been speaking about her shoes and everything else and all the recent events in the world. And we was just going through trying on point shoes. We tried on her custom order Novas that I helped her with which looked absolutely wonderful. Um, and the notes for those, I'm just getting them up now. Oh yeah, because I put the easy roll through in. So that's why you felt the the demi point a lot better in the um, custom Novas. Yeah, sorry, yes. That's the easy right. roll through makes <laughs> um, Could you, do you still have them on by the way? Yeah. Whoops. Could you do, um, show us um, first position from the front and just do some like rolls up to full point and back down again so we can show these guys how it looks. Very nice. See, Rachel has really good control in these and she's really getting that demi point and being able to manipulate every little part of the shoe, which yeah. is exactly what we want. And as you can see, even when she tondu, she can really push through and work every ounce. 
which is fantastic. Does that does even ton, doing a ton doing them feel different to your normal Novas? Yes, definitely. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Just feeling like my toe muscles can actually like manipulate the shoe versus just like not <laughs> not doing anything. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Where it's like you're almost fighting the shoe to try and point. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Well, thank um, you so again. And I love... <gasps> Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Eugene Ballet Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. So Rachel also has on some of the Nikolai dance wear as well. Um, do you want to just show us again what you've got on? This is um, Nikolai leotard and skirt and my lovely new dance bag. And I, I didn't, I don't have them with me just because I left them upstairs, but I love yeah. the toe inserts that dry out your shoes too. Oh, They've yeah. been super helpful in um, making them last longer. Here. Hang on, let me find them one moment. Yeah. So what Rachel's talking about is the um, drying inserts. So let me talk to you a little bit about what they do. They are designed to be put into the inside of the point shoe box when you're finished wearing them. And they have like silica gel on the inside. And um, obviously we can in Europe get the Grishko ones as well because Nikolai is the American name. And you're going to pop them inside. So they sit inside of your box. And they basically whip out all the moisture because of course, especially if you're doing a long amount of time in your point shoes or you're in a humid climate even, um, or you have very sweaty feet, they're just gonna be marvelous for that. And the idea is, is all that moisture gets drawn out and you can stand your point shoes up like this to dry or hang them. And then when you're done, just pop them out and they last um, a good few months, which is fantastic. And it will extend the life of the paste and the platform. Because if you're the type of dancer that you find your box or your platform goes a bit soggy too quickly, um, then these are definitely a, a good thing for you guys to get. They, oh yes, it says expiry date three months from the first use. And I just want to remind you guys that you might not be aware, it's always important to not keep your point shoes um, in your dance bag and get them soggy. Always take them out to dry because you really are going to notice a difference in the lifespan. And I've also noticed some dancers just like leave their soggy toe pads in their point shoes, which again is a no-go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So that's the drying inserts, which is a super cool invention. Okay. Um, so if anyone's got any last minute comments or questions, you can pop them in below and we'll answer you there. And yeah. Thank you so much for helping me out with this and for taking the time to chat. And it's oh, nice to hear about the, great. yeah, about Grishko and how they're um, moving forward as a company. Yes. And um, so let's remind yeah. people, um, so with Grishko and Nikolai, we um, actually brought out some different shades of satin and canvas back in February, um, which were announced at the Atlantic Dance Retail Show in Los Angeles, but also Dance Here in Feria in um, Italy. And we announced it to retailers first, but we obviously wanted to bring them out to the nation. But due to the pandemic, we unfortunately couldn't get all our fabrics together to do our big announcement. But finally, we can now do it. So if you're not sure about the info, go to Grishko World and Nikolai World, and you can see the post with the different shades we have available, which is very exciting. Um, and we're very you know, thrilled to finally be able to offer you guys what we've always wanted to do like this has been a long time coming i have wanted this for so long also so i'm very thrilled to be able to offer my customers this because it's you know i it's as you probably guys know especially with pancaking point shoes it's very difficult um so it's very nice to be able to have this option even in canvas as well um charlotte who is one of our ng generation has just said will you be one of the company members on our Meet the Dancer events during the virtual ABT summer intensive. Um, hi, Charlotte. I don't think I will be, but I know that whoever you're meeting will be amazing. All of my colleagues are fabulous. Um, and we actually had a like an internal meeting um, 
and it was a part of uh, the race committee, which will now be sort of heading DEI um, events and work within the company. Anyways, while we were on it, they were saying that you guys, I guess, were having a meeting with Misty um, as one of the, like, during the summer intensive. And we were all like, oh, I wish we could hear what she was saying. I'm sure it's amazing, and I'm sure they're loving it. So I oh, know that so all cool. of them, yeah, whatever, whichever company members are meeting, they're all going to be amazing. Um, and I'd love to hear about them. Feel free and shoot me a message just saying who you met or listened to and um, ask good questions, too. They're all really intelligent yeah. people. So that feel free and really challenge cool. them. Oh, I see the junior oh, dancers. Well, yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Okay, so um, we'll leave this stream here for today, but I will be super interested to do some future streams. We could even do um, some more live class streams as well, if you're up for it at some point. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fabulous. Do you know what would be really cool? If you could, have you, have you ever taught a point bar for us on here? No, but I that absolutely would be, could. That would be cool. I'd be totally yeah. stoked to do that. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. um, you was doing... Oh, you were doing Zoom classes for that. Was it Ballet Together or whatever it's called? I did, yes. I taught a couple classes for Ballet Together. Yeah, because I was trying to make one of those. But I ended up having to... Oh, it would have been so virtual fun. Fitting. I was so annoyed because I really wanted to go. <laughs> it's been challenging because... Um, so I'm home in Oregon. Um, and ballet company or ballet schools are opening to have like socially distant um, summer intensives here. So I've been asked to teach a lot of those in-person classes. So I haven't really been able to teach. Um, I couldn't keep teaching on ballet together just because I had um, too many other classes yeah, yeah. Um, and things happening. But it would be, so I would love to do one because it would be so fun to have you in class. Oh God, yeah, it'd be fun. Um, we can also get the NG generation involved as well. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Great. Um, do you know, also, do you know what I thought about? I haven't done any live streams on my YouTube channel before and I have a lot of different followers on there to what I have on Instagram. Um, so I really should do yeah. something on there sometime as well um, to see yeah. what kind of audience we get. Because also the good thing right. with YouTube is um, it connects to Google very well. So like when you're using Google as a search engine, it really picks up the stuff that you've done on YouTube more than Instagram, I find, due to the SEO right. properties. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. If you missed part one, don't worry, I'm going to upload it um it's been wonderful we also did a stream earlier on with isabel and dee's dancewear which was fantastic i'm also gonna upload that i've got a lot of work ahead of me tonight <laughs> thank you so much so fun to chat with you always no worries it's been great and um yeah we'll keep in touch and i'll message you near the time for an update on what we're going to do with your next shoes and stuff yeah absolutely i'm loving oh, them thanks again <laughs> thank yeah. you so much thank All you right, bye, bye. Bye, bye.